Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage PCG Chairman Julie Stewart. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to St Luke's LSO on our special day. And may I take this opportunity to give you all my very best wishes on National Freelancers Day. My name is Julie Stewart, and I'm exceptionally proud to be chairman of PCG, the UK's largest organisation representing many of the 1.72 million freelancers on these islands. When I was elected in May, I described my initial reaction as elation and disbelief. This was followed by mild panic, and as the weeks turned into months, a great sense of pride. Proud to be chairman of PCG, representing a diverse community that contributed 95 billion to the UK economy in 2013 alone. I was there when PCG was born. I have seen it develop. I have seen it mature. We did a lot of screaming and shouting in the early days. On occasions, we threw the dummy out of the pram, jumped up and down, went off into a strop, or stormed off in a huff. And that was just the directors at last week's board meeting. <laughs> no, we have matured. Our voice is more measured. We try not to shout when we sit round the table with ministers, HMRC, the Treasury, and civil servants. From the judicial review in 2001, through the Arctic Systems High Court battle in 2007, culminating in moving to offices in the heart of Westminster early this year and regularly talking with politicians. Mind you, we can't always guarantee that they're listening. So yes, we have grown up, we are responsible. When you consider that since 2004, there has been a 63% rise in the number of freelancers in the UK, you get a real idea of the growth in this, in this sector you get a real idea of the numbers that we're responsible for. At PCG, we see ourselves as a champion of the men and the women, young and old, budding entrepreneurs, those starting a one-man or one-woman business, or hoping to develop a small and medium enterprise. As chairman of PCG, my commitment to this 1.72 million flexible workforce is that PCG will continue to grow continue to be the voice of freelancing and a voice that commands respect. We are proud of our past and confident of our future. The world of employment changes at an incredible rate. Our parents could not imagine today's employment landscape and our children will no doubt inherit a completely different one as they face different work and lifestyle choices. In fact, research has shown that in the last two years, the number of freelancers under the age of 29 has increased by 24%. Our theme for this year's National Freelancers Day is ability, aptitude, agility. Three words that we believe defines the very DNA of a freelancer. Ability, from finance, oil and gas, management, health, IT and the media, the Freelance Army provides specialist services throughout the UK in a variety of disciplines, sectors and roles. They provide the knowledge, skill and expertise. In fact, in tribute to National Freelancers Day, the Prime Minister, David Cameron, said only this week, our country owes a huge debt of gratitude to the thousands of men and women who have decided to make their living as freelancers and entrepreneurs. You have not only taken your own future into your own hands, but you are the engine of our economy and economic revival. Indeed, SMEs are the very lifeblood of our country and of local communities across the land. Aptitude. Freelancers are being called into boardrooms, offices, factories, oil rigs and service centres to unlock problems, find solutions, and provide answers to a host of PLCs, FTSE 500 companies, and national and local government departments throughout the UK. Businesses value freelancers. 
87% of small and medium enterprises and 77% of large firms believe freelancers add value to the economy. Agility. From the oil terminals of Sullumvo to the IT hubs of Britain's banks to Westminster corridors of power, freelancers are the talent tap that can be turned off and on when and where they are needed. And over half of the small and medium enterprises and large firms who engage those freelancers identified that flexibility and agility. Managing peaks and troughs in demand and securing access to diverse talent as key means through which freelancers add value to their business. Tonight, we introduce the Freelance A-Team. The A-Team helping the UK grow. Those of you who remember the A-Team on television may remember their great catchphrase was, I love it when a plan comes together. To ensure tonight's plan comes together, may I welcome one of the UK's most respected and favourite freelancers and a great friend of PCG, our host for the evening, Sue Lawley.